Hello, I'm Firepug. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about Valk's abilities. I'm also going to show you the Titanfall 2 version of Valk abilities. Now, I do this every season with every legend, and every time I'm usually 100% correct, and it's pretty accurate. Of course, it's not going to be exact going from Titanfall 2 to Apex Legends, but again, they are very similar game. They have the same weapons, they have the same abilities. They're in the same universe. This is going to be pretty accurate and basically as close as we can get. I want to try to keep it short for you guys, so let's jump right into her passive ability. Her passive ability, as you're going to be sh seeing in this clip, is going to be using her jetpack to hover. Out of all three of her abilities, I think this is the most inaccurate that I can show you, just because I think we'll have more mobility than what you see here in Titanfall. In Titanfall, it's pretty a stagnant thing. You jump you ADS to hover and then you sort of just sit there you move forward a little bit like a meter or two and then your boost runs out and you fall to the ground. I think in Apex Legends you're gonna get a little bit more mobility with this you'll you'll be able to either like either they'll have it so you hover when you ADS or maybe you'll be holding A when you hover and I think they'll let you move around a little bit more so maybe you can move a little bit to the right or to the left and it can even go forward and backwards. The North Star Titan also has its own hovering system. This one you can move around a little bit more, but that motion is usually only going forward. The North Star starts from the ground and goes up and stays there for a while, while when you're a pilot using hover, you have to start up, hover mid-air, and then fall to the ground. Valk's hover could also look something like this, where she starts from the ground and gets boosted up. Next, let's move on to the tactical ability. The tactical ability is going to be like a mini rocket salvo. So to show this, I brought in the Monarch Titan. The Monarch Titan has its own rocket salvo, salvo one of three rockets, but you can get it upgraded to five, I think. And you're seeing that in this clip. It's pretty useful as a Monarch Titan's ability. It's my favorite of all the Monarch's abilities, and I do play Monarch a lot. And I can see this being a very powerful tactical in Apex Legends. It's kind of like Fuse, but with Fuse we have a cluster missile, and with Valk we're going to have an actual rocket salvo. Next, her ultimate ability is going to be a redeploy. So, think of a smaller version of a jump tower, like a geyser. Or during the Christmas events where we had those redeploys on the railroad tracks, it should work just like that. I'm guessing she'll throw something down, and your team can redeploy off of it. I'm guessing other teams will be able to redeploy off of it and then it will go away after a while. My personal thoughts on this being an ultimate ability is I think it's going to be pretty OP. I think it's going to get annoying really fast. Seems like a Valk's team will just be able to get up and leave in any situation they're in. Super easy to third party stuff in too. Also if you're a solo this would be super helpful. You're able to just get out of things and move. Get to go up your redeploy to get to a jump tower really fast. I think this might be a little bit OP but we'll see. Anyways, those are all of Valk's abilities. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.